Hello, my name is Yada and I'm from Thailand. So, what is there to know about me? Um, I travel a lot, to say the least, and my passion is mostly for the arts. So, dance, writing, basically everything artsy. Uh, but that's not the main reason of the channel. I'm blabbering. All my life, I've grown up in a hospital because both of my parents are doctors. And hospital children are invisible to the outside world. You might think I'm crazy since, you know, the hospital is taking care of them, right? Well, and anyways, there are so many less fortunate children such as the ones from Africa or homeless children. I, I agree. But when you compare the amount of charities and philanthropic efforts towards African children or homeless children and hospital children, they really are invisible. And I just don't mean giving them food or shelter or what they need to physically survive because the hospital takes care of that. But what about giving them hope? Hope is what drives us forward. It's amazing to what extent we can live if we have the will and the hope to. When most think of possible children, most think that there's something wrong with them, that they can't do what we do normally because, well, they're, they're sick. Now, I don't believe in stigmas, but many of these children do. Many imagine a good chunk or the rest of their lives confined to hospital walls, or maybe at most, returning to normal life. But nothing more. And why? Because they're not given as much opportunity as your average kid, at least not where I'm from. Why does it have to be that way? Why can't they have the opportunity to, say, learn English in a good quality, with good quality education, and maybe even one day emerge on the international stage. Even for some Thai children, learning English and wanting to make a change, knowing that they can make a change, is a big feat. Most choose to live their lives at the local scale. For hospital children, changing the world is almost impossible. Being heard is almost impossible. They aren't in control of their lives. The hospital is. Well, mental is just as important as physical. We need to believe in order to survive. So this YouTube channel is a collection of dance videos I orig originally intended for the hospital children with chronic diseases in my local hospital. Dance was what made me find my confidence and helped me find myself when I was younger and I hope possible children find theirs as well. I hope that knowing that they can dance and that they have the ability to learn a skill that many normal children don't care or don't think to learn will, will start to give them hope. Even though I'm not in Thailand most of the time because of my school, when, whenever I can, I teach them dance face to face. And when I can't, I send them videos and now I'm starting to teach them dance through Skype. I hope that I might be able to give at least some confidence to these children. And the precarious situation of hospital children is a worldwide problem, more so in some countries than others. The voices of these children are mostly forgotten or ignored by the philanthropic world. S so help me. I can't tackle this alone. Go to your local hospital. See what they're doing to help give these children hope. Can you do anything to empower them further? And think, what did you do to believe in yourself? 
Did you dance, sing, play instruments, write? Do what you can to empower these children in your local communities. One of us can make a little dent, but if there are many of us helping these children in our own little ways, we can give these children voice. So, if you would like to get some ideas on what you can do in your local scale, your local hospitals, I put down a few ideas on the bar below. Thank you for listening to this little talk and I hope you enjoy my dance videos. If you would like me to teach anyone you know dance through Skype, I'm completely happy to do so. Just email me and if you have any questions about my dance initiative, um, please email me and my email is down below as well. Okay, see you!